Then they have, that's the crown and the, the, the elite insane families of the world who think they have better blood than the rest. And they have their think tanks. Then they have their financial control system, world resource control, world population control, and there's a little sheep down the bottom called debt slaves. We're all debted, indebted. And we all bleed financially because they're taxing your wage. You go to work and you get taxed. Half of it goes to the government. We'll get into that a bit later. Okay, in uh, 1455, we have a testamentary trust created. The first testamentary crust, a trust in history. That was Nicholas V, Pope Nicholas V, 1455. This was, bear in mind at the time, it's only like 20 or 30 years before Christopher Columbus sailed off to discover the Americas, right? This trust, this testamentary trust, which conveyed all of this property that the Vatican claimed, the whole world, they, claim, they conveyed it into this trust. It's the trust that claims all your real estate. You know those titles you have? You don't own it. You own nothing. You do not own a thing. Well, you can't anyway. They're molecules. They belong to the universe <laughs> for a start. But the Vatican knows this. They know you can't own things. You can have right of use. That's all that that title means. You will never own it. Never in this system. In this system, I mean, which is about to end. This one is called Romanus Pontifex. Romanus Pontifex. This one is crown. This is where the crown originated. Remember that double crown? That's going to morph into a triple crown because there are three trusts. This is the first one. There's two more to come. See that triple crown? That's called the tiara, the papal tiara, or the trirenium, the three kingdoms. What are those three kingdoms? Well, this is one of them. This is their fictional kingdom that they created. Remember Shrek? And the king and his fictional characters, same deal, exactly the same deal. There it is in modern times. This pope wore it. The last three popes refused to wear it. And there's Pope Boniface. That's him. That's who Dante confined to the bottommost pits of hell. And he and his successor pope did what they did to the Knights Templar. Very important, because they, they stole the Knights Templar technology and corrupted it like they do with everything, for power and control. In 1481, now get this, 11 years before, Constant, uh, before uh, Columbus set sail, another trust. Now these three trusts, by the way, in the incipit of the trust, which is the introductory words of the trust, the testament, or the, the bull rather, let me, it's the bull, the papal bull, the incipit says, for a perpetual remembrance, that's a trust. Right. Now, this one's called attorney, Attorney A.E., that's an A, excuse my writing. Attorney Regis, the eternal crown. This is Pope Sixtus, the sixth, no, sorry, the fourth. Pope Sixtus, the fourth. And this is the second testamentary deed, trust, deed and will, the second crown of the people, which makes people slaves. This is the commonwealth. The crown, the commonwealth was born here. You think these are all English things, don't you? No. The Queen serves the Pope. The Vatican is the most powerful entity on this planet accepting this. These people of the Knights Templar, or the Temple Bar rather, I forget the year, were granted this. This is in the 
city of London, the square mile. This land has no title. That is the only land in the Western Hemisphere, or the, you could say the world, because as you'll see, this, this system has spread its tentacles all around the planet, all around the planet. But mostly in the court systems, in the Western court systems, which I'm going to show you. So we're going to go to that now in a minute once I get off the history. So when you go to court, you will see it. You'll see it, what, who, who they are, those judges and magistrates, who exactly they serve. It's not you. <clears throat> and there's no justice. There is no justice. That's why you wonder when you see, when you hear these outrageous things that happen in, in court. People, innocent people who were speeding or something, who had some marijuana and they're in prison. My God, my God, there's some suffering in our prisons. In 15, 1531, yeah, 1531, convocation. The third trust. This one takes away your real estate. When you register with your birth certificate, that number is the number of these three Sestui KV trusts. Learn this word. That's the name of your enslavement. That, in Latin, is six. Six. Six, six, there are three of them. That's six in Latin. That's six. There are three Sestui KVs. Sestui KV or Setui KV. A lot of people say Setui. <clears throat> That's the Triple Crown. They own and sit on the crown. They are the kings of these trusts which have taken away your real estate, your personal property and your soul. This is for baptism, for Catholics. That's why they want baptisms. That's why they go around converting. And that has stolen and deprived us of our real wealth. These are worth about $15 million. If you've got a birth certificate in this country, in the Commonwealth of Australia, which is registered with the Security Stock Exchange Commission in New York, you are a shareholder. Uh, canon law, which I'm going to talk about soon, uh, was established in this country in 83 because something happened in 1975. The crown of Aragon, which was in England's hand, which is this crown, they had the crown. See, they were, they were granted, this was, this was granted to the crown of Aragon, Isabella and Ferdinand. Well, General Franco took that when he became king in 1975, went back to Spain. It was originally from, for Spain, created at that time, before Columbus went to America. And when Columbus comes back in 94, he signed the tes Tesadillos, the Tesadillos contract with the, with the King of Portugal, with the approval of Alexander, Pope Alexander, back in Rome. So they have the title for all the Americas. And they are they're just Sestui KV accounts. That's all they are. Trusts. Everything is a Sestui K everything goes back to these, these these trusts. Now what I'm going to show you is when you go to court, it's trust law. They're administering these priests of Baal, of Saturn, who is Satan, and remember, as Virgil said in the uh, in the Aeneid. We, the Latins, everyone knows, are Saturn's people. Latin, L is replaced. You just take the S in, away from Saturn and you put L there. Same word. Latin is Saturn. It's the same word. L is L. That's another name for Saturn. That's why you can say Latin. But the Latin church, that's why they speak Latin. This is all Latin. And even in, you know, they know they're Latin because it's... Satan's church. They dress in black. They are the grim reapers. They are reaping our souls. The souls belong to them. I saw this the other day on the, uh, on the internet. I thought I'd copy that and, uh, and show you. There, there's who they are. The grim reaper is black. That's why they wear black. They are ecclesiastical. We'll go through that in a minute. I saw this on the internet. Isn't that appropriate? 
Remember the Austin Powers? One million souls. Yeah, yeah. It, no souls are enough. They love devastating souls, sodomizing souls. How much pedophilia is in this church? How much? It's coming down. It's coming down. <clears throat> the Jesuits, did you hear about this? I'm sidetracking a little bit, but um, in one of the largest settlements in the Catholic Church's sweeping sex abuse scandal, an order of priests has agreed to pay $166 million to hundreds of Native Americans and Alaska Natives who were abused at the order at the Order's schools around the US Pacific Northwest. The settlement between more than 450 victims. Imagine if you were one of them. We don't think about it, but... Yeah, and how many of those people committed suicide? Those, those ones that, that, that are left to fight, if they've got any fight left in them after they've been sodomized and abused by these criminals. <coughs> and the Oregon province of the Society of Jesuits uh, anyway, they apologised. The settlement is believed to be the Catholic Church's third largest in the sex abuse cases behind the Los Angeles Diocese, which agreed to pay $660 million to 508 victims, and the San Diego Diocese, which agreed to pay $198 million to 144 victims. It's, it's just a drop in the ocean for them for all the wealth that they have, but nonetheless, it will bring them down because it's coming in crashing thundering. Why do they do that? Because they're abusers. But are they taught at preschool to do that? Are they brainwashed to do that? It is part, part brainwashing, yes. They've been, they've been indoctrinated. They've been indoctrinated and they've been mind controlled. It's all mind control. All of this. It's all mind control. It's all filthy mind control. In that city of London, which I'm going to show you, this is what Franco Collins is talking about. There's Jerusalem, the Holy of Holies, the Middle Temple and the Outer Temple. That's what they've done in the City of London. That's the City of London. There are three cities in the world that do not... Um, well, let me put it this way. There's three cities in the world that run the show. DC, Washington, just a square mile, a couple of square miles. City of London, where the Temple Bar is. The Temple Bar is in there. That is the only piece of land in the world that is over and above the Vatican. Remember that? I showed you that? That's in the city of London. It has to be because this is the inner temple. It's the same as this is the New Jerusalem. That's why they sing the, jo the song about New Jerusalem, the most popular song in, in the British Commonwealth, isn't it? Because they created the New Jerusalem. They were given the New Jerusalem. There it is in the city of London. The middle temple, the, the inner temple, and that's the outer temple based on that system that the Templars brought back from Jerusalem. It's a system of, of slavery because the ones who are in the outer temple, they are the Gentiles or the Goyim or the scum of the earth. They're the ones that get taught exoteric religion. For instance, that Jesus Christ is pure history. When they were teaching Jesus Christ 2,000 years, 3,000, 4,000, who knows how many thousand years in India as Krishna, his name was Yes Krishna, and in, in Egypt as Horus, and he wasn't historical. They made it up. The Romans did that, the Julian family did that, and the 